Hey, so I want to talk about this week's blog post. The link is in the description area and in the comment section. So this week I chose to talk about Monica, Brandy, and their Versus battle, okay? If you didn't get a chance to check it out, head on over to Versus Instagram page, okay? Listen, those two ladies made history when it comes to Versus because their battle has gotten more views than anyone else's. And... Since the Versus battle, guess what? They've both received a combined total of over 20 million streams in the U.S., meaning that they're making money, you know, because they've probably introduced themselves to a new generation of fans. So it was a win-win all around. And another thing that I like is that during a recent interview, Brandy admitted that they had to iron out some things before they were able to come together to do the versus battle. And she used that interview as an opportunity to publicly apologize to Monica for the things she said about Monica on social media over the years. I'm going to tell you why that apology stood out to me. It's because a lot of times people try to act like Saying things on social media has no impact. Do you know what I mean? Like for me, there's a difference between gossiping, which is kind of your private conversations with people versus using a social media page or a social media platform to negatively speak on a person. People have to understand the weight of that especially when you are on like Brandy and Monica's level. When you have millions of of supporters following you across various social media accounts, getting online and talking crap about a person can literally damage that person's reputation. It can affect their opportunities um you know, to to reach out to more fans. It hurts their ability to make money in other ways. And then we have to understand that on a smaller scale, those of us with any type of public social media account, when we use those accounts to talk about other people without showing any proof of what we're saying, we're slandering that person. We're contributing to an environment that damages that person's reputation. Y'all got to understand something. I'm not going to speak in specifics, but I am going to briefly touch on something that I've observed in the last, we'll say the last three weeks, okay? It, it's been less than three weeks, but I'm being a little, uh, <clears throat> I'm stretching out the time a little bit so that it's not too obvious, Um what I'm talking about, unless you know the the specifics of the situation, okay? But I literally watched some people get mad over either not getting um, a phone call or not getting a response to like a text or an email. Literally watched some people get mad over that and use a social media account to slander a person using all of these negative stereotypes that people have about black women, right? Because it's the well-known fact that unfortunately, a lot of times as black women, we simply don't trust each other. And so if you get online, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, or wherever else, if you get online and you say, yeah, I had this experience with this black woman and black women will turn on you and blah, blah, blah then even if you don't present any proof, other black women observing what you're saying will believe you because of their own hangups about other black women. Literally, a person had a vicious lie attached to their name all because someone was mad because they didn't get a return phone call or text or email. Somebody doesn't call you back or email you back and you you take you take that as a moment to slander them and don't show any proof of what you're accusing them of. 
Is this where we are, black women? And see, the problem is a lot of times you have a lot of black women on social media that simply don't respond to things like that. And I understand it. Nobody wants to be in a back and forth. Um, it's negative energy, it's toxic, and frankly, it is mentally draining. This is something my mom always told me, though. She was like, sometimes if people know that you're not the type of person to address things or respond to things, they can say whatever they want about you. And because they're the only ones talking, over time, people will assume that there must be some truth to what they're saying. She was like, sometimes you have to defend yourself. Okay? And that's why I'm glad that Brandy apologized. She acknowledged that some of the things she said about Monica were damaging, were damaging to her and to her reputation. And she apologized. I appreciate that. And I hope that more of us as black women can learn that disagreements or not getting along with each other does not mean that you use that as an opportunity to literally try to ruin somebody's life or destroy their reputation. Your feelings were hurt. You have you are you you have the right to to feel and express your emotion. You have the right to say, okay, in this moment my feelings were hurt. In this moment I didn't understand X, Y, or Z. What you don't have the right to do is to lie on people and try to ruin their reputation. Because you in your feelings. And I hope this is a lesson to more black women. That there are healthier ways to deal with the fact that maybe you don't like a person. Or maybe a person simply wants to limit your access to them for whatever reasons they have. Hopefully more of us will understand that that is not a reason to use social media to try to damage people and hurt their money-making opportunities. So this is a very big moment to me. I am a fan of both Monica and Brandy. I love both of their music. I think that Monica has a wonderful voice. I think that Brandy has a wonderful voice and I love the fact that she writes the majority of her own music. Songwriting is becoming a, a um, listen, an endangered species in the music industry. So I always respect artists who write their own lyrics. Okay, I think it, I think they sing with a little more passion and a little more feeling when they're singing something that they wrote. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Okay, but anyway. Like I said, please check the description area in the comment section for the link to the blog post. I appreciate you and all of your support. If you're here in the U.S. with me, I hope you're having a wonderful and safe Labor Day weekend because Corona, COVID-19 is still dancing around out here, y'all, okay? So please social distance, use your mask, hand sanitizer, all that stuff, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.